Hello everybody, this is Vicious, and welcome back to more Super Mario 3D World. It's been quite a long time, hasn't it, guys? I know, it's been very, very long, and I'm quite sorry about that. Uh, I guess some of the reasons why I haven't uploaded anything is because, one, my procrastination is just outright disturbing and disgusting sometimes. I hate myself for how bad I can, uh, I can procrastinate. Secondly, um, there's been a lot of changes in my life, so I kind of had to balance those out. So sorry about that, but uh, I'm back in full swing. We're not going to give up on Mario, no matter how many times this episode wants to you know, give me a headache or make me want to snap everything in sight. But you know, we finally got it done, we finally got it edited. We finally got a clip cut down, which I needed to be. Went through about three different editing programs to finally get this where I wanted it to be. But yeah! Anyway, we're playing as Toad! And he is a kitty cat. That's right, Cat Toad in the house. Now, um, this episode was a little bit longer, but because how many times I died, and the fact that I kind of backtracked at one point to pick up some uh, extra power ups, which I kind of cut out because I don't want you guys to watch me, uh, Go back and grab power up because it's kind of dumb. I just went back to the first level and grab him. Um, now I do miss a green star here, which, eh. Actually, if you climb up the little uh, platform, I guess that little conveyor belt platform there, uh, the green star is up there. That's the first one. But I miss it because I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna record these videos. If I miss out on any green stars, it's okay. I'll just go back and grab them off screen. But I'll let you know, like, in the commentary where they are exactly. Now, this little minigame here, I like a lot. I love the whole, like, um, conveyor belt thing, especially with the cat powers. Because it adds, like, a little interesting twist on the game. You know, instead of just riding a conve uh, conveyor belt, you know, back and forth or whatever. You get to climb on them, like, up and down, you get to go around in circles. It's really cool. Also, if you want to. Yeah. So I guess I can talk about some of the other things I have planned coming up soon. Um, I'm actually going to start working on my second LP. This is Mario's coming to a close, thank god. I just got to record one or two more episodes of Mario and that's done. Um, I don't know if I'm going to tackle the secret world yet. Which for those who don't know, yes there is a secret world after you've beaten the game and collected all the stars that you possibly can. Uh, so, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do that right away because I still haven't gone through that myself. Other than that, I've been playing, uh, I've been kind of having a Sonic binge. I've been playing a bunch of Sonic games, and kind of had a few ideas since I've been playing a bunch of Sonic games, and maybe I should, like, uh, LP1, because I'm not the biggest fan of Sonic, but I still enjoy the games. To a point. Also, I've been stuck playing Sonic 06, because it was gifted to me the other uh, day. And, no, I'm not LPing it. I'm just canceling that right now. Uh, no LP of Sonic 06, unless you want me to die about 7,000 times and see the great game over screen about 50 for the first story. So there you go. We're not going to get that. Anyway, I kind of missed the stamp there. But I'm like, you know what? I got cat power. Let me see if I can die for it. Ah, I'm kidding! Yeah! Normally, if you don't have the cat power, you're kind of screwed. There. So make sure you don't break those blocks. Or at least keep one on because you won't be able to get that stamp. Anyway, course clear! So you're going to see a, a quick uh, jump cut in about a few uh, seconds here, because I die stupidly on the next level. You know, I love things that crush you. Did I ever tell you that, guys? I love things that crush you in games, because it's just like, oh, you want to enjoy the game? Nope, crush. So it makes me quite sad whenever I have to go to a level with something that crushes you. I hate it. But yeah, um, I guess I'm talking about my next LP that's coming up, maybe? Maybe, maybe I'll talk about that? Um, we're gonna be doing Vanquish on the Xbox 360, which is kind of a hidden gem. Also, that was a jump cut right there. Um, the reason I want to do that game, because I had a lot of fun with it, it's not a very long game either, but it's kind of a hidden gem. It's done by Platinum Games, um, published by Sega. I want to say Sega Genesis right there, because I've been playing the Sega Genesis uh, recently. I have a problem. But anyway, let's get back to the actual gameplay. Because I've been like, going off top really bad in this episode so far. So yeah, this level is really cool. I like the fact of being chased the entire time. But like I said, things that crush you just make me very, very sad. 
But it's not like Resident Evil 4 or things like Crush you with like hit the button really, really fast so you don't die. I hate quick time events, okay? I'm gonna say that right now, I hate quick time events. Um, I would love to do a Resident Evil game, I would love to do four, but I just hate quick time events. Like I really do. And if I were to do actual uh, actual Resident Evil 4 LP, it would be with uh, all these secret weapons unlocked because I can. If I spend all that time unlocking all that stuff, why not, right? That's the thing I always think. That's the thing that kind of like different LP wise is uh, when it comes to playing a game. Um, now, if you played the game before and you have like all the unlocks and stuff, if you want to be that person who says, "Hey, you know, I don't want to do the game with all the unlocks because it's kind of broken that way," and I can understand that. Uh, but if you put all that work into unlocking everything, like your first playthrough, and you want to play through it again with all that stuff, and you want to record it, why not? I see no harm in that. Yeah, you might get a weapon with infinite ammo that just kind of destroys everything in sight. But you have to remember, Resident Evil games haven't been scary since... Well, in my opinion, 3. Resident Evil 4 didn't scare me that much. Anyway, that's the end of the level, folks. Not bad. Toad's doing his thing. Yeah. Toad is so happy. Also, speaking of Toad, who's excited for Captain Toad on the Wii U? I am. Like, I was so pumped when I heard about that game. I was like, holy crap, Captain Toad? Like, really? He's gonna... I had a feeling he'd get his own game, like, I really did. Because a lot of people like those segments in the game. Which we'll be seeing, uh, next video, I believe. We'll be seeing some more Captain Toad. But anyway, let's hop down this pipe here. Because we got another mystery house to go down to. Now, I'm gonna let you know, I did leave the part where I failed. I didn't die, but I failed. Because I ran out of time. And it just goes to show you that if you're not quick enough, you can fail these quite bad. And what it does is it makes you go through the entire uh, house again. So if you get like, like the last mission and you miss it, you gotta do all the missions again. But since I was only like the third mission in, it was okay. Now this is a cool one. Basically you gotta grab a baseball, flip it up, and throw it. I'm so happy you can grab like, an object and throw it to grab the star. This is a really cool one. I always do this one like perfectly. That was like super easy to do. And it's really cool how they did that. Now this is the one I failed on because if you don't hit everything correctly, like when it hits that power block up there, so it drops all the other uh, baseballs down there, and it knocks them all out really fast. Of course I missed that, so I'm like, oh, so I gotta start over again. Oh, that's too bad. But you know what? How about I kick your machines? Sadly, you don't get to take that baseball with you, which kind of sucks. What are you gonna do, right? What are you gonna do? Yeah, this is easy. Like, so all the stars that you collected before you uh, failed, you still have them, so don't worry about that. Okay, this one, what you want to do here is what I'm doing right now. We'll break one of them. You want to hit that power block right there. See what it does? It drops all the other ones down there. Lips them all out, and you're good to go. You want to make sure you're quick with that one, too, because uh, even though the enemies are still being hit, you can still run out of time before uh, the star appears. Or right when the star appears. Which really, really sucks. I had moments like that where the star, like, I had like a zero seconds left, and the star appears. And it makes me cry. I'm like, oh, all that time, and it's just gone like that. Let me tell you guys, I have I miss uh, recording stuff. I really have. I've been so distracted with so many things going on in my life right now that um, I just I was thinking to myself like I gotta really record stuff. I really really gotta record because if I don't, I'm gonna beat myself up like every day if I don't. And that's what I did for like a month straight. I was beating myself up because I wasn't recording anything. But anyway, another jump cut there because I died at this part because of uh, I, to, I decided to try to jump onto the side of a train and uh, it didn't go so well. I thought, hey, I'll just bounce off the wall and hop back up there. No. No. But anyway, there is a green star I miss on this level. Because, like I said, if I don't get all the green stars in one level, it's okay. Because I don't want to sit here and have to constantly restart the level just to get a green star. Because, even though I've played through the game and I've beaten it, I still don't remember every single star location. Especially after, for, after like a month of not playing the game, so... 
I'm getting the hang of it again, so if I played it really bad, it's because I haven't played this in like quite a long time. I know you're gonna say Mario games are like super simple, they're not that hard, and blah blah blah. Well, they can be a tad bit difficult, especially the uh, later end levels. They get throw a lot of things in your face. Trust me, you'll see in the next episode. Yeah, they like to throw a lot of stupid things in your face. But yeah, that gray block over there, not the, not the question block, but the gray one, that house is the second green star. You have to put a bomb in there. I just forgot it. And I do like the whole big, uh, big question blocks there, which when you, like, you hit them, it kind of creates a platform. That's really cool. Also, like, sweet raccoon powers. Look at that. I'm so too new. Yeah, bam. I'm so awesome. No, I'm really not. I'm not, not awesome. I'm quite terrible. But yeah, um, I'm actually going to be recording Vanquish today, actually. So probably when I'm done uh, doing the voiceover for this episode, I'm going to sit down and play some Vanquish. Then maybe some Shiny Force. Because that kind of really sweet hack. But enough about that. Yeah, but I have a lot of uh, ideas recently for Let's Plays. Also, the stamp is in that, uh, well, behind that wall. There. You gotta bring another bomb with you, chuck it, and it reveals the stamp. Now, this guy is super easy, but of course I get hit because I'm a dirt. Um, basically, what you can do when you spin around, if you land right on top of his head, you can knock him out. Now, this one also adds a little bit of uh, an extra thing at you. Of course, you're gonna do his little spin around. Not too difficult, really. Some of these bosses get really predictable, but like I said, he throws another shell out there, so you have to be really careful. Now, let me tell you something. Doing this fight with Luigi is a humongous pain. Because of his jump and how far he jumps and how high he jumps, you really can't gauge your jump correct. So you end up hitting him a lot of the time and then actually doing damage to him. So, kind of sucks that way. But like I said, I missed a green star and I missed a stamp. But like I said, I went off screen and got all the stars that I missed out on. Especially one way back in the other uh, world. So we're gonna need them soon because uh, we're getting close to the end of the game. Which I'm quite excited because I can't wait to start doing other stuff. <laughs> I love Mario. Don't get me wrong, I love the Mario games. But uh, I definitely want to start on something else. I got that itch. I gotta scratch myself like, oh, the itch, the itch. So anyway, we're gonna be hopping to the next world, which we're gonna be switching up to Mario. And there's another jump cut coming up here because Yeah, my first and second attempt of that level was not very good at all. See, I was getting to the point where I was editing this episode, I was like, do I wanna keep death in there so people can see how bad I fail and laugh at me? Also, I hope you guys enjoy my pain because I don't know if either tomorrow or, uh, what's say Thursday, uh, today's Thursday, no, today's Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday, either Thursday or Friday, I'm going to record a one-off episode of Super Cold World because I'm going to be incentive to my, uh, donation stream. So expect Super Cold World one last time. One last time. I do have the ROM already, so don't send me, like, 5,000 messages with the ROM, I have it. Anyway, got another little Circus 10 going on here. This is actually, uh, really easy. But I do like the whole mechanic of this fight. So, the whole multiply thing, which I've explained before, I do not like. A lot of people like it, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, but it's really useful in this fight here, actually. Also, got a super sweet raccoon power. Like I say, guy, if my commentary is not perfect or I don't speak correctly or anything like that, I'm sorry. I just, I have a tendency to speak really, really fast. And I clearly don't think about what I say. So sorry about that. Anyway, this guy is not too difficult, really. But that's what he does. You look for him, hop on his face. I have three toads, now I'm number two. That's okay. Basically, you just gotta wait until he uh, disperses all the metallic armor he has on him. And then you can just hit him. But you gotta be careful though, because he's just kinda landing a little bob, they kinda like protect him a little bit. You can stop those out if you really, really want to. I 
I've really seen there's no point. I mean, I think if you stomp them out, he can't regenerate his armor anymore, but... I don't know, this is dumb on this way. We still got three toads. Of course, I lose one. So I can never have more than three. And goodbye. This is super easy. I'm gonna grab this coinage. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like, should I get the stars? Should I get the coins? Should I get the stars? Should I get the coins? I'm so confused. Don't worry, they come with you. Now, if you actually uh, run off screen with any of the multiplies, they don't come back. They outright just die. The only time they actually follow you is when you go through planes. Because Lord knows you're not gonna get all of them through. And sadly enough, that one does not fall off, but it just kinda stays there. So, I'm not upset about that. And Circus Tent, which I think that's the last Circus Tent we'll see this game. Not entirely sure. There might be one more. But, as of now, that is the last Circus Tent battle of the game. All they gave us is a crappy green star. You know what? Can you give something, like, I don't know, a little bit better? Maybe like... Actually, no, you don't need extra life to get enough of this in this game. Also, here we are. Big Bowser's Castle. I must say, I love Bowser's Castle in this game. I really liked it in Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo, but this one, I like it a lot. Like, I really do. Like, I love the, the, the layout of this world. This just looks really cool. Anyway, another jump cut, because... Like I explained before, it's pretty bad here. But I'm taking that fancy cat suit this time. Also, I did switch over to Mario. Because, eh, it's the final level. Why not start it off with Mario? Because the next episode, I do switch over to Luigi. Which is the biggest mistake of my life. Also, I missed that completely. See how pro I am at this time. But yeah, hit that block and fly up there. Try to stay on there because you do have a tendency to actually fall off. If you don't uh, land on your back. Also, that was so close, right? There. So close. I was thinking to myself, like, please don't fall off. Please do not fall off. Please. But yeah, come up here. And there should be a plate that will lead you to a green dart. Yeah, there's actually one of those little switch panels here. This is actually not that difficult. I mean, it looks kind of tricky, right? Like, oh man, more switch panels. Ah. Uh... No, really, this is actually quite easy. Okay, just like it. Flip back up. Woo. Actually, right there, I thought it was going to fall off. I was like, yeah! I kind of just slammed it in there. The last one, just kind of slam. Slam jam, thank you, man. Everything's good. Okay, come over here. There's a little, little timer if you need the extra time, I guess. And I just kind of dive in there. What's up? Of course, I'm taking out this fire rail because... I need to get myself some of these green coins. That guy, I don't get hit there because he's, most of the time I get hit. I, mean, I don't know why, but I have a tendency to lose track of my character and then I get hit and die. Actually, my first attempt of the uh, last episode, not the last episode, but the newest episode I actually recorded today. Um, I was doing one of the blockade fights, and I just kept dying because I kept losing track of my character. It was really, really bad. I'm like, why am I losing track of my character so much? Well, like I said, eh, not too bad. Also, Fire Bro, you suck. Yeah, Bowser's Castle's uh, world has a tendency of throwing really stupid things at your face. And I hate it. A lot. You'll actually see in the next episode how bad it gets. Like, you really will. But anyway, guys, we're coming close to the end of the episode today. I know it's not a long one, but, uh, I did what I could. I had to edit some stuff out, so that's why it's not as long. It was usually, like, 24 minutes, but sorry about that, guys. But anyway, I have been your host, Vicious, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Super Mario 3D World. Peace out!